Here we are, lesson 24, page 60 and 61. Today we're dealing with G major, G, B, and D, and D7, F sharp, C, and D, in the right hand. So, <clears throat> you did these in lesson 23, in the left hand. Now you got them in the right. So, for the first exercise in the middle of the page, repeat. One thing to pay close attention to is that in this example, your D, finger 5, is in each chord. And if you don't pick it up all the way, then it doesn't re-sound right. So you want to make sure you can hear all three pitches. So, then go through the next exercise, same thing. It says broken chords or black chords. When all three notes of a chord are played together, it's called a black chord. When the three notes of a chord are played separately, it's called a broken chord. So, your first example is treble clef in three, four time. One, two, three. Next line down does the same thing with your left. One, two, three. Black chord broken. Black chord broken. So that is a black chord or a broken chord. So practice that, get used to that. Practice it starting on different notes, like instead of starting on G for your broken chord, you can start on D. Play the same notes each time, but just a different order. Different things you can do like that to not only help get the notes of a G major chord into your fingers and under your memory and your instant recall. Because that's the thing we're really going for here, is to have this instantaneous recall of when you see D7, you just, you know, your hand just finds that form. It just feels that way. Actually, go back and look at the beginning of this video. When I introduced it, I realize now I, I probably went like that because if you look at what happens for the G for my hand I gotta move a little bit to get my thumb comfortably on the F sharp with my fourth finger on the C <clears throat> so take a look I'll bet you I did anyways the new thing we're learning on page 61 is the damper pedal if you look at the pedals underneath your piano, there's going to be either two pedals, a left one and a right one, or there's three that has one in the center as well, left, right, and center. The damper pedal is the one on the far right side. And what that does is it allows the strings to continue vibrating and ringing. <clears throat> so it prolongs the sound. And I will play something now, I'm going to, I don't know if the microphone on this camera is picking that up, but I'm pressing the damper pedal down a little bit abruptly, just on purpose, so you can hear that 
it like opens up, the piano starts to ring. All noise, like if I put it down properly, there is no noise. So, but if you, there are the notes, the notes. So without that, if I'm not playing that, but I put the damper pedal down, all the strings on the piano can now vibrate. So if I go, the notes, you can hear it. I hope this mic is picking this up. Anyways, I'm going into too much tangent. The damper pedal, pedal on the right, allows the strings to vibrate, so it allows the sound to continue um, a after you release the key. So if you look at the page, underneath the music, there's going to be a line that goes down, and then it's going to continue along the underneath the bars, underneath the measures, and then it'll have an up when it ends. So that means when you see the little line that goes down, that's when you push the pedal down and you play all the notes while it is a continuous line. And then when the line goes up, that's when you lift your foot up and release the pedal. So I am going to turn on another camera to capture this at the underneath and add it to this video. Record. I did that wrong. <laughs> I need to turn the camera around. There. So you see my foot. Hopefully, let's see if we can make D E. Oh, I was off. D E. D E. Whatever. Um, so I'll play the song on page 61. There is a repeat sign. It says MF-P. Now remember what our dynamics mean, that how loud and soft to play. MF is mezzo forte or medium loud. Piano is soft, so you're going to play the whole song the first time medium loud, second time soft. And it says push the damper pedal down right with your first note. So I'm not going to put it down before I start and then start playing. I'm going to put it down right as I start. <clears throat> So, moderately slow, this is called harp song. Just think of a harp, right? It's a nice, beautiful instrument. One, two, three. picked up the note, the G, after three beats, I pick up my foot as well. So, well, a couple things with the pedal is you need to push it all the way down and release it all the way up. But you don't want to slam it down like that to where it causes the piano to vibrate because that's unnecessary noise and it's disruptive to the piece you're playing. And you also don't want to slide your foot off, you want to release it in an upward direction. But 
I'm picking my foot off every time and pushing it down as an exaggeration, but in real play. feel for it and you develop your own pedal style. But that's not what we're focusing on. We're focusing on just the technique of up and down. All right, any questions, let me know. Thank you. And take a look at page 60. Here we go. And 61.